In this video, we are going to explore the most incredible luxury cars in Gran Turismo 7 like you've never seen them before. Can you guess which car we're in to start things off? It is, of course, the Aston Martin 177. Look at the absolutely gorgeous carbon fibre you have on the inside. Look how much there is there on the passenger door. The little centre console there. Kind of more carbon fibre going up to the uh, edge of the windshield. I like how the steering wheel seems to be nice and chunky. Not a lot of buttons on it. You've just got some button boxes kind of behind the wheel. Let me know how you rate the Aston Martin 177 interior out of 10. We're going to go through. In the comments, I want you to rate all of them out of 10 so we can decide on this channel what the best interior is in Gran Turismo 7. Let's step to the outside and you can see here that the carbon fiber... Thi carbon fiber? <laughs> the carbon fiber theme really continues with the um, style that I've chosen. It. We've obviously got our own liveries on here. Some of the sponsors, I think, that I've worked with in the past. And that's the Aston Martin 177. Let's go to the next cars. Have a look. Right, can you guess what car this is? If you can guess this one, you're doing pretty well. We've got quite a stripped down interior. You can see more carbon fibre here. Carbon fibre on the passenger door. And no passenger seat. And obviously, we've got the big ignition thing. We've got the, I think, the kill switch there as well. So this is obviously a racing spec car. This is a Group 4... Bugatti Veyron, so congratulations if you guessed that one. And if we go to the inside, we have this massive screen here behind the, almost like a, um, looks like a control yoke in a, in a passenger plane here. Very, very, very digital, glowing sort of dials and stuff here. So this is a Bugatti Veyron. Let's go to something a little bit more different. Let's go to the next car. Right, I told you this was gonna be different. You can obviously guess, or know this is a Lamborghini, the reflections on that um, badge in the middle of the world is absolutely insane. But can you guess which Lamborghini we're in? Kind of a very weird situation going on here, left of the seat, very stripped down interior, very, very, very basic. Wind down windows gives you an indication of where we're from, this iconic sort of window thing going on here. And look at the dials, yes, eight dials. How many of them would be working, I don't know. And look at the little stalk here for the um, indicator, I think. Have to say wash and yeah, the... Is that saying wipe? Oh, that's just for the wipers. Maybe no indicator in this thing, I don't know. But let's have a look on the outside because it is, of course, I know pretty much all of you have got this. It's the Lamborghini Countach. Look at this. I think this is my modified version that I use to drive around the Nürburgring with the uh, different rims and the brakes. Uh, put a, a rear wang on it as well. But the Lamborghini Countach, are you three out of three for the moment? If so, incredible stuff. Let's move on to the next car. Well, 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 this is a very, very, very interesting exterior. We've got a wooden steering wheel. We've got this kind of exposed bit in the door arch. This paint scheme in here, I find absolutely horrid. Reminds me of like really old stuff in Britain. It's like, I don't like that color at all. Old school pedals. Look at this exposed gear lever here. Absolutely insane. We've got some fancy um, seatbelt stuff going on as well. And we've got six dials here. As so I hit the microphone, all pressure, fuel pressure, fuel, water temperature. And we've got the speed gauge and then we've got the rev gauge as well. And can you see what it is? Can you guess what it is? This is an unusual car. This is the Wicked Fabrications car in Gran Turismo 7, a very, very, very unusual car. I don't know a lot about this car, but what I will say is, from the outside, I didn't know it was going to be so dated. On the inside, it looks kind of like a quasi... It looks, to me, kind of futuristic. To, I know it's not a car of the future, but it looks quite contemporary to me. Um, you know, you can see it's out and about, but on the inside, absolutely horrid. Right, let's move on to something better with the next car. Right, moving on to something very different, a lot more modern. And I'm already in my head sort of comparing this to the Aston Martin 177 we saw. And you can see here, there are just absolutely buttons everywhere. The fans look like they've come off a miniature kind of aircraft RC model. We've got the very stylistic touchpad in the, in the middle, but I do think that sort of dates, not a touchpad, but the screen there does sort of date the car. A very strong start. And then we have, of course, the McLaren badge in the steering wheel. This car, I cannot believe it, is already 12 years old. This is the MP4 12C McLaren, an absolutely 
classic car. I think this car kind of transitioned McLaren into the modern age. And I think all kind of modern McLarens now derive their DNA from this MP412C. But let me know if this is what you expected from the inside. A kind of very strongly designed interior. Right, let's move on to something else and see what we find. Right, this is one for our American friends. American friends of the channel. I've done... Whoa, look how many buttons there are in this car. This car has the most buttons I've ever seen in a row. What the hell is that? By the way, if you like this stuff, please, please, please like, comment, make sure you subscribe, hit that button notification bell because if you want to do more of this, send that good signals to YouTube. But there, there must be a subscribe button on here somewhere and a notification bell button. Look at this. You could probably write out a whole comment by pressing these buttons. What on earth were they thinking? This is a car that I was asking to be added to Gran Turismo 7 since they announced Gran Turismo 7. This is a Corvette C8 and I hate it. It's absolutely horrendous. I don't know what's going on with the, there with that cover over the, the cigarette lighter or something. I feel like you won't be able to see all the screen easily. How you meant to access that button behind the wheel, I don't know. There's 10,000 buttons down there. I feel like removed from the passenger. I feel like I'm driving a bus and they're sort of going to have to tap the Royster card. I do not, but I like the head-up display. Classic Corvette. I love the head-up display there so you can drive even faster. In fact, I think the head-up display just redeems the whole thing for me. But this is an absolutely horrendous interior. Let's go on and see if we can find a better American car. Let's do it. Oh no, this is so bad. This is even worse. I'm sitting on a cake tin. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven dials, which for a car like this, I just think is like five too many. That fan is horrendously dated. I feel incredibly claustrophobic in here, even in VR. Can't see anything out of the rear view mirror. The, the worst gear stick thing I've ever seen. Can't access the radio. I'm going to try and change the, the channel and I'm going to end up s stopping the engine. And again, I thought, whoa, look how big this speaker is. This is a terrible car. Do you know what it is? Can you guess what it is? It says Ford GT on it. So if you, if you understand English, you should know this is indeed the Ford GT, the original version, the 05 version, I think it is. This car was, of course, on the cover of Gran Turismo 4. We're now in Gran Turismo 7. I do like the little sort of aircraft flick switches there. That's cool. Even though the one behind the indicator stalk is going to be Im impossible to actually reach. But this is a horrendous car. I hate it. How where's the clutch? I don't understand where the clutch is. I've got a brake. I've got a throttle, presumably. And I've got a manual gear stick. And I've got two weird things that surely they can't be a clutch. I don't like this car. The handbrake is just seems impossible to access. Let's get out of this. Let's look at the bigger brother. The bigger brother. Let's look at the new Ford GT. This is going to be interesting. Did they improve it? Have they improved it? For me, it looks better on the outside. Let's get on the inside. Okay. Okay. Oh, look at this. I'm next to my passenger. I can actually have a conversation. And they've removed the seven dials, but they've got tiny little knobs there that are just so stupid. That That's a screen in there. And the double fan system. Oh, no. What have they done with the wheel? Why are there so many buttons on the wheel? Am, am I driving or am I meant to be doing an Excel spreadsheet? Look at this. Look at this. There's way too many buttons on this wheel. Way too many buttons. Such a shame. But I like the fact I can actually speak with my passenger. The rear view mirror is actually better as well. But they have an issue with these buttons in these American cars. Americans in the comments, let me know what it is. What is it with your cars? Right, let's go something a little bit more stylish. Let's have a look. This is one of the most exclusive cars in Gran Turismo 7. You can't even buy it unless you get a random invitation. We've got the Porsche badge on it. The handbrake's down there, which I kind of like, actually. The gear stick is a bit weird for a manual car. I can see my passenger. Can you tell what this is? This is such an expensive car. Massive uh, wing mirrors there. Nice rear view mirror. Bit of exposed carbon fiber on the roof, which I quite like. This is, of course, as you can see there on the badge, this is the Carrera GT. What a car this is. I feel like they don't really make cars quite like this anymore, if you know what I mean. 
I mean, this is a real, real, real throwback. I wish we could pop the hood um, at the back, actually, and look, and look at the engine there. But what a car this is. What a car. Nice, simple steering wheel. This is a car, I think, designed for the driving experience first, and I'm all here for it. Right. I'm going to do some racing. Maybe I'm going to race this car if I have it in my garage here to check. And if you want to see more videos like this, just let me know in the comments and we will do it. I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you. See you next time.